Hi, today we'll talk about ODI variables, its scope, types, and how to use them within a project. An ODI variable is an object that stores single value. An ODI variable can be created within a project or it can be created in the global objects tab. The variable that is created within the project is known as a project variable. The variable that is created within the global objects tab is known as a global variable. The project variable can be used within a project only, whereas a global variable can be used within multiple projects. So let's try to create a global variable first. Right click on the global variables, new variable, and in the definition tab, we need to pass on the name of the variable. Let's say it is my first global variable. Now we need to select the data type. It ranges from alphanumeric, text, numeric, and date. As per your project requirement, you can select any of it. For now, let's keep it as alphanumeric. The next is the history. In history, we can save all the values. We can store only the latest value or no history at all. For now, let's keep it as latest value. There's an option of secure value. If we tick this checkbox, there will be no history maintained at all. For now, let's uncheck this. The default value is the value that we pass and this is preserved throughout the project. So for now, let's keep it as test value. Click on save and this variable gets created over here my first global variable in a similar way we can create the project variable also right click on the variable option in the project tab new variable pass on the name my first project variable the data type let's keep it alphanumeric for now latest value default value test Let's save it. And here our first project variable gets created. To save time, I have already created a few variables over here and we'll be using them within our project. So here we go. The types of variables can be seen over here. Click on one of the variables, the type on the right hand side of the properties tab. It shows declare, evaluate, refresh and set. So there are four types of variables and we can use them as per the requirement of our project. A declare variable is a variable uh, which is used when we want to pass the variables when we are scheduling a job or we want to pass these values externally. Refresh variable is a variable which gets its values from the sequels or we are fetching that value dynamically from the tables for example here i have used select one from dual so this value keeps on changing that is why it is known as a refresh variable that whenever this job runs this value in this variable will get refreshed next comes the evaluate variable evaluate variable is used to compare values of variable according to an operator so if you can see over here the operator is defined we can use any of the operators stated over here the equal to not equal to greater than less than greater than equal to less than equal to n so for now let's keep it equal to and after this the next type of variable is set a set variable is a variable in which we assign the value within that project this value can be incremented also but for this data type for the variable it should be numeric then only you will be able to increment it otherwise it is not possible as of now i'll do it to numeric save it and then i will show it over here now i'll try to click the increment tab and it gets incremented okay so now let's uh, put it back to its original data type that was alphanumeric save it 
and now it gets back to assign let's refresh it and see so we'll not be able to increment it once we have changed it to uh, alphanumeric uh, we have created a file the odi out file what it is doing is that it will create a file a variable underscore test dot txt at our location c drive test we'll try to pass on the value of these variables within this file for example i have passed on the value of the set variable test over here so uh, in this case it is success so once we run this job it should print success because in this evaluate case it was showing that whenever we have a value of one being fetched from dual it should be success and uh, the success value assigned to this variable should be printed in this file if this is a failure condition there will be a failure value assigned to this variable and it will be printed within our odi out file too the same file okay so let's uh, try to run this job and see what gets printed in the file as of now uh, at that specific location c drive test we do not see any file over here present so let's run the job and see what happens session started let's go into the operator here we go file is generated so here it comes there is a success message in this file so it shows that our job completed successfully and the success condition was passed now let's do make a change so that uh, we get the failure condition within our file and this evaluate can be tested let's remove this refresh variable test 2 from here let's use our global refresh test variable this variable pulls the value 2 select 2 so once 2 will be fetched our job will move into this path that is a failure condition will be given in the file let's link the variables save it improve the look and feel of this variable arrange it properly save it and run it check in the operator refresh to see okay so the job is completed successfully now we'll check in the folder and now we see that there is a failure step so this is how variables work in odi how we can use them the only thing to remember over here is that uh, whenever we want to put the value of a variable we will have to prefix that variable with a hash and the name of the project if it is a project specific variable if we want to use a global variable we will have to prefix it with global so for example let's see over here let's use the global reference test right and double click on it and it will prefix your variable name with hash global so this is how we use variables in odi